the ultimate liminal space presentation you're probably wondering what the heck this video is about well this is just some small project i felt like doing because of my boredom anyway if you enjoy dreamcore weirdcore and liminal spaces then you clicked on the right video just a warning if you're sensitive to this whole topic, then please click off, especially if you dissociate very easily. Anywho, let's get right into the video. Also, side note, I'm not that educated with everything, but I'm just presenting what I do know, and if you want to correct me in anything, then please do. Like, I'm willing to get educated with all this, but yeah. Now what is liminal space good question if you google the meaning you get two answers the first one is what is liminal space liminal space refers to the place a person is in during a transitional period it's a gap and can be physical like a doorway emotional like a divorce or metaphorical like a decision the second meaning liminal space is an aesthetic Liminal spaces are the subject of an internet aesthetic portraying empty or abandoned places that appear eerie, forlorn, and often surreal. Liminal spaces are commonly places of transition or of nostalgic appeal. If you are interested and want to learn more, then you can just google about it and they will give you a bunch of information of liminal spaces and even pictures. To me, liminal spaces brings me some sort of uncomfortable feeling, yet nostalgic. Uncomfortable because it's just eerie to look at a picture of a place, for example, a dead mall, school, or even a pool. Knowing that there used to be people there and now it's just left alone. And as for the nostalgic part, majority of the pictures that I've seen makes me remember the old good days and all the old bad days, especially from my childhood. Seeing the pictures makes us remember a memory from our past, or perhaps we visited there in a dream. And that's when Dreamcore comes in. What is Dreamcore? Dreamcore is a surrealist aesthetic that uses motives commonly associated with dreams, daydreams, or nightmares, portrayed through media such as images, videos, and on occasion, music. Dreamcore shares many similarities with Weirdcore, however, it is not intended to give off dread or uneasy feelings. Instead, Dreamcore focuses on emulating the general feeling of a dream and uses brighter colors. As you can see, Dreamcore and all these pictures, aka liminal pictures, are mostly based on the 2000s and started to become more known in year 2020. Sometimes it's not always based on the 2000s because I've seen some pictures that are related in like the 80s or the 90s. For example, these pictures. Either way, the 2000s liminal and dreamcore pictures are more popularized. Dreamcore is mostly liminal spaces but more dreamlike. It looks strange and weird because, well, that's how our dreams are basically. Our brain creates the most weirdest things when we dream. Sometimes it takes a memory of a place that we used to remember or seen and we create it to look strange. Then comes Weirdcore. What is Weirdcore? Weirdcore is a surrealist aesthetic centered around amateur or low quality photography and slash or visual images that have been constructed or edited to convey feelings of confusion disorientation, dread, alienation, and nostalgia or anemoia. Basically, Weirdcore is exactly what you see in the name. Weird. A lot of people enjoy mixing Dreamcore and Weirdcore together. When it's mixed together, that's when we get all the creepy stuff because of the weirdness being mixed with dreamlike pictures. Weirdcore tends to make many people uncomfortable and dissociate because of how eerie and odd the pictures are. Well, I see why it's called Weirdcore. Either way, to me, I enjoy the Weirdcore side because it's just cool to see the pictures people make and even the fashion that is inspired from this aesthetic. 
There are a lot of cores that is related to liminal spaces, but there is one quote-unquote aesthetic that I think I should discuss about, and that is trauma core. This isn't really an aesthetic to me, but it is a way for people to vent through photoshopping pictures that relates to the person or even art that people create to express themselves. And to be honest, I think that is fine. I actually discovered Trauma Core first before everything else. All the Trauma Core pictures I've seen when I first looked into it really brought out my interested side. I never thought that such thing could exist until that one day. What is Trauma Core? Trauma Core is a type of aesthetic imagery that delves into the theme of abuse and trauma, particularly or CSA, along with cute visuals to give the whole aesthetic a quote-unquote bittersweet tragedy feel. Mental emotion and spiritual abuse are also common themes in Trauma Core. Trauma Core is more of a dark side and if you really are interested in this core then I suggest you look into it by doing some research. Just please, please, please make sure you prepare yourself first before you even look into it because there's some pictures that can be very very triggering now the next part what are my top five favorite liminal slash dream core pictures starting with number one i like this one because it feels like after school the nice feeling of freedom from dealing with classmates that are annoying and teachers lecturing boring stuff it reminds me of when me and my friends would walk together out of those school doors, all happy, and seeing the same couple making out every day at the corner. And we would laugh at how corny it is, lol. Just the good memories. No hate to that couple, though. <laughs> Number two. I like this one. Well, it's because I took it. <laughs> this was during my senior year. Me and my buddy decided to walk out to the library just to chill. And I took a picture because there was no one. The library is pretty old and I don't remember what year this place was open, but it's pretty old and I like it. Number three. I'm not sure what it is, but it just brings me comfort. I guess it just reminds me of my friend's home. That's all. Number four. This one is nice because it feels like I dreamt about this place, but also it looks like the gas station you would see when you're like a kid and you're on a road trip to Disney World or something. It looks nice, especially how sunny it is. And lastly, this is more Dreamcore like, but besides that, I really like it because it sort of looks similar to the old stairs at my high school. Well, those are my favorite pictures. Liminal spaces will always have this very strong, special place in my heart. And I'm sure for other people too. This is why the internet is nice in some ways. Many people put things online and we become very interested in the most weirdest yet wholesome things. There's a lot more about liminal spaces. Like the back rooms. And if you don't know what it is, the back rooms is... You can pause and read this. There are games and there's basically levels and each level is basically a liminal space. It's either dangerous or not. It's similar to SCP, but obviously SCP came first. Either way, <laughs> this is basically just some simple presentation to keep my boredom chill. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye